now let's look at a vendor that we want to onboard. So say you're onboarding this vendor, you'll go to the vendor record, and you'll see the vendor management tab right here. And if you look at the different sections of this, we will come back to OCR later, let's look at the assessment section. It lets you set up different levels of approval, and it lets you assign different employees, say a finance approver or a legal approver. It lets you set up a relationship manager, so if you have an employee that will be handling the entirety of your relationship with this vendor. You can give the vendor access to advanced entity portals by checking this button. Again, this is very similar to how you would give somebody access to NetSuite. You check a checkbox, you assign a password, this password is going to be hashed, so nobody will be able to see the password. The new vendor, once they log in, will be able to change the password on their own. It also lets you send them a welcome email with a template of your choice. So say you've selected all of this, uh, what do you need to do now? So you need to actually send them the onboarding questionnaire that you created, right? So what you do is you go in and you create a new risk assessment and you choose is this onboarding of a new vendor or is it a reassessment of an existing vendor? If you're a company that does a periodic reassessment of your vendors, you can choose that. Uh, in this case though, we are gonna look at onboarding a new vendor. You can set up other aspects of this onboarding like security, uh, what is the confidentiality level, what is the risk tier, uh, and so on. You can select what compliance documents you require this vendor to upload. In this case, we've chosen uh, a few here just for the demo. And if you select the questionnaire template, all of the templates that you set up, as I showed you earlier, they will be available here. And you can choose the questionnaire template. You can check the send questionnaire box. And once you save the vendor, this questionnaire will be sent out to the vendor and a separate email will be sent out with the portal access as well, saying, welcome, here are your details, this is how you log in to uh, the vendor portal. All right, so let me show you what a vendor will see when they log in. This is the screen that you'll come to, and this screen is just what we have for this demo. It's fully customizable. If you want it to look like your company's login screen, uh, you can you know, put in your logo, if you want to put in any messaging, it's fully customizable. So you click on login, and this is a portal that the vendor who's about to be onboarded sees. This questionnaire is the template that you decided you wanted to send out to the vendor. And this is what you see all of these different questions right here. And if you remember, we chose three compliance documents. And you can see all of them right here. Now the vendor can choose to answer the questions partially and save it, which will save their progress but not submit the questionnaire. Uh, they can also export a version of this for their own offline records, or once they've completed it, they can simply click on Submit to submit it to your team. Once they click on Submit, the responses are recorded within NetSuite, and depending on what you've chosen, whether it's an auto approval or a manual approval, it will go through that approval process. So it either gets automatically approved or an employee of yours can go in, manually look at the answers, and then choose to approve or not. Now we also have a place where you can let them upload documents. So any additional documents that you require from them, they can drag and drop here. And this plugs into document collaboration uh, for NetSuite, so it doesn't take up space in your file cabinet. It goes into AWS, but is surfaced within NetSuite when you upload documents to document collaboration. You can also click on file list and you can surface files to your vendors, whether it's a frequently asked questions a list, maybe your company policies, best practices when answering the questions and so on. And it will show up right here. So once a vendor is onboarded, they see a very different view of the vendor portal. This one is just two tabs, but let me go show you what a vendor who has been onboarded sees.